Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Living Show Tarot. I'm Fizia. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing swell. I had to uh, come back in here because it looks like it's going to be getting dark soon. And I don't want to be doing the readings in the dark outside with the bees. <laughs> so, Aries, this is going to be your... Uh, Dream reading. Yeah. And if I know what's going on in your dreams. Oh my. I don't think if a car flies out, you you got more. I want a sugar. I don't want to do that. I want a sugar. Just for the emphasis. Y'all don't be saying it's me. Thank you, Spirit. I'm just saying, because these people be trying to blame me for shit. They don't be trying to blame me. We got the black egg and the starfish. Mm -hmm. This black egg is all about restarting. I'm going to get the book for it. Just a little extra. Just that little extra. Yes, so. <laughs> the black egg. Speaking from an authentic voice, the truth. The black egg contains one of life's as essential treasures, the truth. Inside of it resides no confusion, excuses, small talk, noise, or lies. Not even a little white one. Mm. No little white lines. This living and breathing vessel harbors only that which rings true. When this essence is in balance, we speak slowly and clearly. We're drawn to activities like writing, reading, teaching, singing, or perhaps public speaking. Sound draws us in. Books draw us in. The concept of truth itself draws us in. We start asking questions like, what do we know to be true about myself and what is true about the world? So, um, this is also, I believe this is your, uh, solar plexus. Or this, no, um, this could be throat chakra for this one. Yeah, it is, it's throat chakra. Mm-hmm. This is your, um, speech and self-expression, right? So, they may be talking to you about your self-expression. It could be the way you express yourself. Um, it could also just be, like... Are you expressing yourself? Just in general. Like, not necessarily, like, are you doing it the right way, but are you even doing it at all? Because a lot of people, I feel like, people think that they're doing that, but they're really not. They're just... There's a difference between self-expression and complaining. I'll just put it to you that way. If you catch what I'm saying. If you're picking up what I'm putting down. Mm-hmm. And we got the starfish, Patrick Starpod. Beautiful, alluring, superficial, or shallow. Wow. <laughs> the starfish is a natural and exquisite beauty, mesmerizing to all. Being around someone with starfish energy is a thrill, like you've been put under a spell of divinity itself. The problem is these creatures have been reliant on how they look and what other people think of them for so long that they may have forgotten their deeper callings. When this card appears, it's important to ask, am I being swayed by outward appearances with dreams about put aside to please others? Yes, this is definitely... Like, remember how I was saying, like, are you expressing yourself? Yeah, it may not be. If you, like, you may not be, um... In a mode where, like, you're doing what makes you happy. And you may have relied on other people to be like, oh, you're so cute. I'll do this for you. And I don't know. I did have a new podcast. Oh, we got the turtle here. So that one is on um, codependency versus independency. You know what I'm getting? That's kind of like the underlying theme a little bit. Not necessarily like entirely, but that's like there with that starfish. And it may just be codependent upon like, not it may it may be looks, but it's it's 
also maybe just kind of just like just used to like people because Aries I feel like you like this is like the childish energy and people like to nurture the childish energy and so I feel like maybe that was like a thing for you where maybe you get nurtured like naturally nurtured but okay so is, sorry this light is like I gotta hit these there we go oh I hit the blue one so I can look. anyway but like you could be used to getting like naturally nurtured to the point where you may not say things or say how you feel because you're so used to just like laying back and allowing it to come to you or allowing other things to be done for you that you don't even know how to do some other like different things maybe for yourself or like how to say like uh, how to say that? It's a lot of water here for this. Ancient soul grounded trusting at home in the south. Yes, that's what this turtle is, right? The turtle has a strong relationship with the earth and water elements simultaneously. This helps to ground and connect them with the deeper truths of life. No matter where the travels lead them, the turtle energy is behind all great writers, storytellers. I'm telling you, man, this what we got three cards basically saying write something. We got the black egg, your self-expression, write some. Starfish, stop relying on your beauty, write some. And we got the turtle, people who are grounded and connected, and they can write some. So you better write some. I don't know what you're writing, but you better write some. Because <laughs> we got three cards already, and it said write some. So I don't know who you are, what you're doing, whatever out there, but uh, write some. Oh, damn it. A little ashtray. Hmm. I like that little ashtray. It's really just a candle lid, but it was being an ashtray for me. So you definitely want to do, I mean, if you're not a dream journaler, you definitely want to do it. If you are one and you haven't been doing it, you may want to like, jump back on it because it's definitely... Yeah, definitely, 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 definitely. Especially with this turtle, because this is somebody who's like, I feel like you get more grounded by like pushing the stuff out versus keeping it in. You, it, it's more grounding to you to push it out. It's more grounding to you to write it out. It's more grounding to you to like share it with people. It may be a little bit scary, but overall, it's more grounding to you to actually share it with people. King of Cups. So, in the waking world, you are this probably, like, emotional ball. Not necessarily in a bad way, but, like, I'm, I'm getting that you feel a whole bunch of stuff but can't say it. Or feel like you can't say it. Or feel like it's going to be wrong if you do. So, like, whoever. But it's not, like... It's not like it's actually going to be wrong. Like, it's not, like... Because I'm not getting... Because I get it. Like, I know Aries are not, like, typically the fearful sign or, like, fearful people. But it does feel like, for whatever reason, like... Maybe you're so used to, like, people, like, doing something. You don't see that it can be done in a manipulative fashion. I put, I put it to you that way, like... And I think that's why... Um, cause in that, in the podcast, that last episode I just did, that's kind of what I was talking about. It's like, it, it can be done in a manipulative, like people can do things in a manipulative fashion. It's not just, not everything that someone does for you is for the good of you. Sometimes it's to like try to control you or try to make you reliant upon them. And I feel like you don't, it's like you may see that, but you don't say anything about it or you like, need to, like, write it or something. Or, like, put it out there in some kind of way that makes it better. But it's, like... I 
Because you may, I'm, I'm getting it, like, with that, like I said, you may be, like, nurtured by, like, these people for whatever reason. It could be looks, it could be whatever. But I'm just saying because, like, the Aries energy is, like, um, a lot of people do naturally want to nurture an Aries. So it's just, like, a thing. That is generally, like, a thing. If someone has, like, that in, like, um, certain placements for that, people do naturally want to nurture somebody. Seven of Wands. So then in your dreams... You can you can be a little bit defensive. I I'm getting that there's a I think that's what the latent fear is. I think the latent fear is that you are not really trusting. Okay, this is somebody who may have had their trust broken before, and I feel like it's like not really trusting, and it's not really trusting. If people are doing these things with good intentions or not. And so your subconscious is like it's like defensive because you're trying to work that out, but you like automatically want to believe that it's like I'm, I'm getting it's like you automatically want to believe it, it's something to be investigated. Put it to you that way. It's like it's something that needs to be investigated. Is that my cat? Eight of Wands. Emotionally, you are pushing forward with it. I like that. So it's like you're pushing forward with it, but it's like... I feel like this is more of a mental thing for you. Like, mentally, you're like, yeah, I'm cool, whatever. And then... This is in the 3D, right? In the 3D, it like, or like, um, in the in the walking world... Like, you're, like, emotionally trying to move on. Like, you get, like, it's a whole bunch of stuff that's happening. You're just, like, I'm just going to move on and not, like, address it. But I feel like that's the, that's the issue is that they want you to address these things when they pop up. So that you don't just, like, allow them to happen. Like, if you feel something is, like, kind of off, like, just to say something so you don't, you know. Just so it's, like, you're clear. Right? Just so you're clear. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so then in your dreams, yeah, because in your dreams, you're uh, with Nine of Pentacles. It's like you're on your own. And you're defensive to anybody else coming towards you. Anybody else like dealing with you, operating with you. But you're very. Um, it's like it's very. It's a very independent mindset here, but around codependent people or with like codependent people like codependent like attachments around this that makes it feel like it's such a like a scary thing it's like one of those like you could be in like a pit in your dreams like a, like imagine like a pit and you're like trying to crawl out of a pit or like how have you ever seen those ones where they try to crawl out of like a volcano or something and I'm not getting, it's like, it's not like a crabs in a bucket thing. Like, it's not like it's full of people and you're trying to crawl out of a pit. Right? But it's more like it's, like you're on, the, like, a street corner. And you're, somebody, like, asks you for the time. Right? And you're like, why are you trying to be, like, it's like you're investigating because it's like, you're like, okay, we're in 2021 now. At the time of this recording, everybody got a phone. Like, how do you not know what time it is or how can you not find it? Like, it's like, it's like, sometimes people just want to, I feel like, some, it's like sometimes people just want to be nice. And but I don't, I don't, I feel like you're in a, a trusting place where it's like, I don't know if these people are being nice or they're just like trying to start shit. <laughs> I'm not saying you're wrong, but people do find, yes, judgment for your foundation. Yes, that's exactly what I've been saying. This is your foundation. This is every time something happens, you go back to judging, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but I feel like you're like overcritical a little bit, or it's like you're doing it to a point where you're not like allowing yourself or just like woof and be and like you're looking like, like, trying to analyze whatever the interaction was. 
I think that's why the, the writing thing pops up because when you're writing about it, it's like you you don't have to mentally analyze it. You just write out what it is, and then it's like I I found out that a couple of sentences, or like a, a couple of paragraphs even about an interaction, can resolve you of a couple of weeks of agonizing <laughs> over what 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 was done what was not done or whatever because when you write it down it's like okay what was done was just done like this whatever it was and we just move on that's kind of i don't know that's like that's really the thing i've discovered when i do writing oh oh four of cups here what's the outcome of that give me some more about that explain that to me Page of Pentacles. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, because I'm trying to figure that out. Page of Pentacles. We get the Death. The Tower. The Moon. Wow. And you see, I've been shuffling. Death, the Tower, the Moon. Queen of Swords. Six of Swords. The Devil. Seven of Pentacles. Wow. Okay, so this is somebody waiting to get out of something. This could be a codependent situation, which is why I keep bringing it up, because that is the codependency card. And I'm definitely getting... I'm getting something. Like, someone is trying to either talk to you in a way, and it's like, uh, or you're like... But it, I'm getting, like, you're, like, mentally trying to move on from that with the Six of Swords here and this Queen of Swords. You're trying to mentally move on and just cut it out and be done with it completely. We have this moon, this tower, and this death card, which definitely means you want to have a transformation, right? Like, you, this is all Scorpio, the Scorpio and Pisces energy. This is all water energy, like emotional transformation with this King of Cups here. That's probably why you're in this energy, because all this stuff is um, emotional and spiritual changes. But I'm getting, you may not, you may not know what you're changing into, right? So with this page of because when I got this, right, this is what you're going to. This four of cups. This is what's supposed to be unlocked. When I went to what's what's blocking is the page of pentacles. So that's why I'm that's why I had to pull these other cards. Cause it's like you're refusing the like your next level here. And it's not necessarily like refusing it, but There's another deck where they have it and it's like they're like handing it to you. I know this in the modern witch throw is like that, but it's like you're not necessarily refusing it, but you're also not seeing something for what it is. It's like you're waiting for it to be over. I feel like you were pre maybe this is previous, hopefully this is previously. It's like you were waiting for it to be over and then now it's like you're actively trying to cut it out. If you have, if you're, there's some people who maybe at the time is of you're watching this, you may still be here, but then you're gonna move over here. But I am feeling like there's a lot of people who were like here and like and it's like in this transition, like like just like no, I'm not gonna, I'm not waiting on anybody or anything. I'm just gonna go do. And I feel like you don't know what that's gonna lead you to do or lead that or lead you to be. And that's where the refusal, or that's where the fear of it comes in, like. I don't know where this is going to take me, if it's going to take me where I, but the question, the thing about this is that it'll take you where you want to go. You have to decide where you want to go and then do where you, do whatever to get there type thing, right? It's not necessarily where this is going to take me, it's that where you're going to take it. That's the putting in control in your life type thing. It's like, okay, so I'm going to do this thing and then um, I'm going to make it work out. It's kind of like that energy. We get a couple more cards here. Oh. Genosis. Yes. Did I mention how hard it is to shuffle round cards? No offense to the people, the lady who made these, but it is really hard to shuffle round cards. Genosis. This is like mastering everything. Not necessarily mastering everything, but like mastering your inner world and seeing it, seeing it shine out from the outer world. 
and I'm getting from this is like you you know the inner world you know your own inner world but you don't share what you know about yourself if that makes sense like you may not share what you know about yourself we also have the stone here now this one I do have to look up because I don't think I ever got this one before so hold on Ooh, quick flip <laughs> The Eternal Anchor, The Rock. Wow. I can't make this stuff up, yo. As an archetype or archetypical art object. Oh my god, why can I not? Brain, get it together. Thank you. The stone holds psychic and literal weight. As energy is one of the uh, premise con uh, concreteness. Wow, why is it when I get to this side of the page? Okay, brain. And reliability. The stone's ability to transform is nearly imperceptible to us. As it changes ever so slowly over countless human lifespans, a single stone may see thousands of generations come and go. Mm. Yes, it's the best to anchor our wild side. There we go. I feel like that's part of this thing in there, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you may need just need some peace, peace and quiet. I feel like you know, it's one of those things where intuitive people. I don't think people understand intuitive people need more. Like like introverted people, intuitive people, people just need more like space than they need attention. And I'm getting here. It's like. You're someone who's getting the, like, it's, and it's so funny too, because I feel like all, like, the people who would, like, desperately want it are the people who don't get it, and the people who are just, like, sitting around who are just, like, I don't really care if I get it. In fact, I kind of don't want it because I don't need people judging me. It's like, the, are the people who get, like, the majority of it, because it's like, oh, you're doing something different. And it's like, yes, I am. Don't judge me. Yeah. <laughs> but then the people who get the attention, there's people who, like, want it so desperately it is i feel like that's like a thing right it's like you're that it's like you you're this force that doesn't go away and you have like this emotional or like this energy it's like it just it doesn't it doesn't leave but You, I'm, it's like you may have been used to people doing things for you and now you question what their motive behind that was but it's like you've been solid and you know what your motives have been the entire time you know who you've been the entire time with this stone so it's not it, it, it's scary because now with everything progressing I feel like with this moon especially, you don't know what this is going to bring you to be or who this is going to bring you to be. And I feel like that's the scariest part of this whole thing. Because throughout this entire whatever process, because this is a page of Pentacles is also a journey of, of new stability, I feel like. And new stability may be in the people you are around or the people you deal with. Or again, a new stability in your inner world here. By like just saying these different things and like like not having to be defensive about it when someone comes around. And like just stating your boundaries clearly and you know so you like it's like a i i got it off the way so if you don't want to deal with me i get it but if you do then understand these are the these are the rules these are the guidelines <laughs> these are the requirements here okay on the uh 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 airy show <laughs> whatever you want to whatever you want to call it but that's like i'm getting that's the type of energy though that's with it. And it's like, you're afraid that if you maybe do that, that you might lose people too. But I'm getting, you're more like ready to cut them off if they're not. 
doing that, but I'm giving you also like a little bit of that because this did come up. So listen to the podcast, watch the podcast. I do have another channel for that now. Um, it is the Shadowcast, so um, go. I'm gonna put the link in the description for that too, so you can go watch that as well because it's also a thing that's becoming a thing now apparently. So. Go check out the podcast, watch the podcast, listen to the podcast, whatever you want to do. Thank you all. Have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful blessed day. Namaste. Bye-bye.